welcome to my vegan kitchen. So today, guess what we're making? We're making fried cabbage. This recipe is so quick, so easy. You won't have to be in the kitchen for more than probably 15 minutes. So I'm gonna do it now, stick with me. So the first ingredient we're gonna start with is soya chunks. Now soya chunks, I know some of you guys are like, what the heck is that? All right, let me show you. This is what it is. Let me get a couple so you can see what it looks like. Soya chunks is basically soy flour, then dehydrated, and it gives you that, these little chunks. And what's so nice about this is that it mimics beef. So you can use it like in beef stews, so soups, stir fries, you get this nice beefy texture, which is perfect for a lot of vegan recipes. All right, so let me put that back in there. So all you have to do with the soy chunks is put it in some water. So this is about maybe a half a cup, a little over a half a cup that I put in this measuring cup with water, with some warm water. And I'm just gonna let it sit for about five minutes and it will rehydrate. And as you can see, it's starting to double in size already. I love soya chunks for stir fries. I love to put it in soup. I love it for a lot of recipes, tacos, anything like that, because it just has a nice beefy flavor. And when you season it, it absorbs all of the flavor, which is perfect for my recipes. All right, so let's get this on. I'm gonna use this big wok skillet. Now you can use a regular skillet if you like. However, I started using this wok and I absolutely love it because it just has a lot more room. All right, so let's add some oil. We got this on. Got it on about medium. I'm gonna add some oil, maybe about, mm, like let's say a tablespoon and a half. A little over, over a tablespoon. We're gonna add that to the wok and get that heated. Then we're gonna head over here. Before we head over here, where's my knife? Hold on. <laughs> Here's my knife. All right. The rest of the ingredients basically is a yellow onion. I'm gonna use half of the yellow onion, red bell pepper, scotch bonnet pepper, you always gotta have that, and aroma tomato. So we're gonna get that all chopped up. Before I start to chop the onion and everything else, I think the soy chunks or soya chunks, and, and you'll hear the, the, the name interchange. You'll hear soya chunks, you'll hear soy chunks. They're all the same. All right, but I think it's ready. It's about five minutes, they feel soft. I'm just gonna dump out the water and I'm gonna squeeze it out, okay? I'm gonna squeeze it out real good because I wanna get out, you know, any excess water that's in there. And when you squeeze out the water, it also helps it to cook a little bit more crunchy because we don't want anything really soggy with, these, with the cabbage. All right, dry my hands. We're gonna head over here to the, the wok that has been heated up. Let's turn this to a low medium. And I'm just gonna place that right in. Let me grab a spoon, come on in so you can see the action that's going down. All right, so that's what it's gonna look like in your pan. And you're just gonna leave it alone and let it fry up. Now it's gonna fry up pretty quickly. So while that is frying up, I'm gonna head over here and start chopping these vegetables. So what I'm doing is just slicing these onions. So I'm using half of an onion, like I said, and I'm just slicing the onions. I'm not chopping. So I, I, I know I said chopping before, but really I just wanna slice it. Just so it kind of mimics the, the shape of the, um, the cabbage. All right, and we got a roll of tomato. We're just using one tomato. You don't have to use a whole bunch, but we don't wanna give it like a tomato saucy kind of feel, but we want a little bit of flavor from the, the tomato. And then I'm just gonna slice the pepper the same way I did the, the onions. Let's get that center part out. I'm just gonna give some long, thin slices like that. So it just kind of mimics the cabbage. So everything just kind of goes together. And when I tell you guys, this recipe is so quick and easy, it's like the best thing ever. Like, it's a hot day in Atlanta today, right? No surprise. It's like 90 something degrees. Nobody wants to spend any kind of crazy time in the kitchen. But we're gonna run down to the pool and I wanna make sure that when I come back, we have something good and hearty to eat. And that's why I was like, oh, let me do some cabbage. Hearty and healthy. And I was like, let me just do some fried cabbage. And it's not like a whole bunch of frying or anything like that. It's like a really, almost like a stir fry. 
So I have my scotch bonnet pepper. I normally just pop a little hole right in there, but I'm just gonna slice it just a little bit because I just want a little bit more heat in the cabbage. All right, we have that all sliced up. Let me head over here to the soy chunks and see what it's doing, guys. Nice. Come on in, because I want I want you to see what this looks like. So this is what the soya chunks look like. It looks like just like beef pieces, like little beef tips, and it's nice and fried up. It's absolutely perfect right now. Only thing that can make it even more perfect is when, once we season it up. So I'm gonna add a little bit of liquid smoke. Right, so we gotta get that smoky flavor. I'm gonna add some jerk seasoning, and this is a marinade, so it's more of a liquid type of seasoning. I like a little spice, so I'm gonna add that in there. And Korean barbecue sauce. And honestly, there's no real measurements on this, guys. I wish I could tell you, like, use this amount, that amount. It's kind of, you know, the, the the way you like it is how you want to season it. I probably did a teaspoon of jerk season because I like it a little bit of spicy and a little less than a quarter cup of the Korean barbecue sauce. But this is what we want it to look like now. Okay, you take a look. So now the soya chunk is just absorbing all of that goodness, all of that flavor, right? So once we get it like that, and we're just gonna give it maybe two minutes, just so it kind of absorb the flavors a little bit more and it just kind of um, absorbs some of the liquid so it's not too like gravy-ish because we don't want gravy. We just want this to be absorbed into the soy chunks. All right, let's give it two minutes. So now we're gonna add the scotch bonnet pepper. I like to snug it right there in the middle. Come on in, come on in. They wanna see, they wanna see what's going on because this part gets, you know, intricate. If you've never cooked like this before, you wanna see how it's done. All of this is going in here now. All right, so the onions, the um, the pepper, everything is going in here right now. All right guys, so we got everything in the pot. We're gonna give it a couple of minutes because we wanna make the, um, the onions become a little bit translucent, the tomatoes have to cook, and just kind of wilt the pepper, the red bell pepper a little bit, all right? So we give that two to three minutes and then we, I'm gonna show you what goes in. Come on in, let me show you again. This is what you want your onions and your peppers to look like. You see it's cooked, not overcooked. It still have a little firmness to it. This is where you want it to be. Okay, now that we have it right there, this is what we're gonna add next, cabbage. Now, I have a pack of shredded cabbage here, pre-shredded, but you can buy a whole cabbage and, oops, <laughs> a little tipsy, and shred it yourself. This just makes dinner go really, really easy. So I got this from Trader Joe's. It comes shredded. Pop it right in. Okay, that's all we gotta do. Sometimes I'll toss it just a little bit. The seasoning that we have in there is already salted, so you don't really have to add salt. Wait until the cabbage is cooked for you to, to, to for you to determine whether or not you want to add more salt. But all we're gonna do now is cover it up with my cover and let it lightly steam. The pot is dry, as you can hear all that frying that was going on. You don't want much liquid to be in the pot. Remember, we're trying to fry the cabbage. We're not trying to steam it. We don't want it to be like mushy and, and wet. We want it to be like nice and firm. So that is it. We're gonna leave it here for a couple of minutes. We're gonna come back and check in. Let's check on the cabbage. Come on in. All right. So now that the cabbage has shrunk down a little bit, we're just gonna toss all of the ingredients together. And you hear it's still frying, right? That's perfect. It's not too wet in the pot. So you look at the pot, it's dry. That's how you want it to be. Cause you don't want this cabbage, like I said, to be like wet, wet. You want it to be like, you know, it still has some crispness to it. Crisp crispness to it. <laughs> Me and my pronunciations, right? This looks like it only has probably a minute before we take it out of the pot and taste it. All right, guys, this cabbage recipe is done. All right, let me give it one more toss. So I did have to open it. I tasted it and it did need a little bit of salt. So I salted it just a little bit more, but there you go. There's my cabbage. So let's head over here. Let's grab this big old wok. Let me place it right here. I have some rice. Now guys, <clears throat> ooh, it's a little spicy. 
I had planned on having some fried plantains with it. Sometimes I'll do fried sweet plantains or I'll do avocado. Great side dishes to, I mean, great sides to go with this dish. But because I said I'm heading out, I'm gonna dish this out, taste it for you guys, cover it up, and when I come back, I'll fry some plantains or put it in the air fry because I ain't got no time for that. All right, here we go. Let's get this right on the rice. So I got some jasmine rice. That's what I'm having with it. There is my cabbage with the soya chunks, the smoky soya chunks. Let's put this back. And let's chat about this for a second because this is steaming hot. So you know I, I, I can't, even though I be trying to taste it when it's hot, this is just a little too hot for me right now. So let's talk a little bit about the soya chunks. If you cannot do soya chunks, some other options that you could try is um, chickpeas. You could do chickpeas. Um, you probably might want to put the chickpeas in the air fryer instead of on the stove and then just do your cabbage separately just so you have some nice crispy uh, chickpeas. You could also do, um, you know, uh, like I said, I'm not the vegan police. So if you wanted to do like turkey bacon or like a vegan bacon or something like that, just so you get that nice smoky flavor, you could do that with this also. So other options. Cabbage is very healthy for you. It has, it gives you good gut bacteria. So you do want to, you know, I encourage you to incorporate that in your diet. It's simple, it's easy, and it's cheap. Cabbage is cheap, guys. So even though you notice that I used um, pre-shredded -shred cabbage, if you bought a whole head of cabbage, it's super cheap. You might just want to use a mandolin to get the, the um, pieces really fine. And when I say mandolin, let's see if I have one. Yep my mandolin right here invest in one of these these are great for shredding cabbage for shredding vegetables to make salads um it's better than using a knife to cut because you're going to get perfect slices every time and you can slice them really thin so grab yourself a mandolin so i said all that to say this has cooled down and i can taste it now all right here we go let me dive in so that's what it looks like i got it with my rice the cabbage is pretty Let's taste it. It still looks a little steamy. I was really trying to chat y'all up for a while, but we gotta taste it, right? Okay. Mmm. This is good. Mmm. This is perfect. And what I love about cabbage is that it has a nice mild sweetness to it. So even though you notice I put like the jerk season in there to make it spicy and the, the um, scotch bonnet pepper, there's spice, but there's still a nice sweet mildness to it. So go get yourself some cabbage, make some fried cabbage this weekend. Um, thank you again for joining me in my vegan kitchen. Here's another quick and easy recipe that I know all of you guys will try and will love. Don't forget to subscribe, click on the little link, uh, sorry, click on the little bell just so you get the reminders whenever I drop new videos. And thanks again, guys, for joining me in my vegan kitchen. Bye, and go have some fun this weekend.